Right, hi there YouTube. Hope that you're all doing very, very well. Right, so today's video is about this um, laptop bag that I've purchased. Because I needed one um, at a budget cost. So <clears throat> I found one from GES for less than £50. And as always, the links to the bag and the laptop sleeve will be in the description bar below. So, after the intro, we're going to have a little look at this guy. This is the Tactical Laptop Bag 17.3 inch from GES. So that's coming up just now after the intro. Be strong. Be strong. Okay, so here's the laptop bag from GES purchased on Amazon uh, for less than £50. And next to it is a laptop sleeve, hard shell sleeve, which we will come to later. And as always, the links to these will be in the description bar below should you wish to purchase one or both. And no, I'm not affiliated with these sellers at all. So, the laptop bag in question, okay, is GES, and I paid, I think, less than £50 for it. I think it was about 48 quid, something like that. And there are some pros and cons with it. The good thing is, I needed something that was tactical, fairly smart, um, relatively lightweight with a decent shoulder strap on it and this bag is perfect for that um, because it's an alternative to a backpack now I do like backpacks I like them a lot however they're less secure and they won't uh, they won't protect a laptop nearly as well as uh, this messenger style does so <clears throat> that's what I needed and I found it from GES, these guys. So let's quickly have an overview of it. At the front here, we have a Velcro pocket with a snap clasp on it, which you can put a laptop charger or battery bags or whatever you want in there. And that's adjustable. For all you airsoft uh, guys out there, or you uh, gun guys, you could put your mag pouches in there because as well that clasp is easily adjustable so you're not going to have anything falling out. The two upper pockets are velcroed as well. Um, so you could put your utilities in there and it, it seems sturdy enough. So we like that. There is a further zip pocket at the front, which is a little bit finicky to get into. In here I've just got deodorant in there, but you could put whatever you want in there I suppose. Maybe a second charger or whatever. Now, <clears throat> on that zip note, I don't think that's going to be rather sort of uh, waterproof very well so because as you can see there's still a gap there but for 50 quid what do you expect and also at the front of the bag as you can see there is a velcro strip here where you could put your tactical morale patches or anything that you wish on there to the side you've got these uh, i think that's for like your accessories and uh, your mole uh, m-o-l-l-e utilities can get fitted onto the side of that so you can get yourself external pockets um and uh, other utilities on there the same is also on the other side where there's more of them I don't know if you can see that very well. I'll just show you the other side again. So that's one side. And it looks like, yeah, in here, near where the shoulder strap is, there's a separate pocket there as well. 
and that is true also on the other side I do believe as you can see so you can put other accessories in there to the back of the bag what you would have is well there's your carrying strap there's a second plastic clasp which comes over to sort of lock the handles together like so but you've got a small loop there which you could attach a carabiner to or put your pens or whatever in that and then there's quite a spacious dump pouch in the back which I do believe would suit my folder quite nicely um, but for rainy days that would live on the inside now back to the front of the bag again okay we've got another zip compartment here which folds out as you can see let's have a quick look at that um, it's fairly padded so you could put maybe uh, a second laptop in there or for all of you pistol guys in airsoft you could fit your uh, carry case in there there's also another one of these uh, clip fasteners which gives you access to another main slip pocket there and two smaller slip pockets at the front quite reasonable storage space the downside is when you zip these together two zips there is a space in between there so these zips don't actually interlock so there is a possibility for liquid ingression there i'll show you that closely so what you might want to elect to do slide the zippers down to the bottom so no liquid can actually find its way in so for those lovely british wet weather days top of the bag sees us with more of this uh, webbing here where you could attach further utilities if you so wished and that's pretty much the outside now the main compartment itself opens with two zips as you see and a velcro which gives us access to the inside of the bag the further uh, velcro uh, slip off there so you've got space easily for another couple of laptops in there if you want and there's a second sleeve in here along with the main compartment now what i do like about this bag and we will come to this just now is with the domiso hard laptop sleeve case so for a laptop shell case it actually does fit inside this bag so we can undo that and this will actually fit inside like so and then what we can do is with that velcro over the handle with it lock it down like so so that way that's not going anywhere so on the whole for 50 pounds that's quite a reasonable bag i would say um not too bad a little bit skeptical about its level of water resistance but then again with the laptop shell the shell case here let's just set the bag off to one side that should offer plenty of protection and that just opens up for a 17 inch laptop now um, the laptop shell itself I'm not overly keen on the strap on it because that's just one of those slide on slide off affairs which over on the back here just simply goes on like so but there is a possibility that could fall off so I will remove that 
if I can. Uh, maybe it might not fall off. Okay, that one will have to go in the outtakes. But um, yeah, on the whole, fifty pounds for the bag and twenty-eight pounds for the laptop shelf. Let's just leave that open if we can. No, I think we're going to have some outtakes here, I reckon. What I will do is just pause and get my laptop and I'll show you how the whole thing fits together. So I'm back and I have my Acer Aspire laptop. Uh, it's the Nitro 5. So as you see, that fits quite nicely in there. And then all we need to do is just undo the lap strap, which seems quite secure. Strap that down like so. Our laptop's in. Zip this guy up like so. That's fairly, fairly rugged in there and robust. And then this can just simply go inside the bag like so. Do up the Velcro strap. So just poke that in there for no particular reason. Zip that up and we are good to go. The last thing that I do like about this laptop bag the side of it being fairly lightweight is that the strap on it is pretty robust quality. It's adjustable and if you look here that shoulder strapping is quite padded and it's quite wide so it spreads the load more efficiently. And just to show you what that looks like we will pause. I'll wear the bag and then you can see. So we have the bag on and as you see it's quite comfortable except I've twisted the strap a little bit. That's easily rectified. So it's quite comfortable. That's reasonable. It spreads the weight just nicely. That's not too bad. And then, of course, if I wanted to, I could just keep it by the side as well. So if I'm on public transport or the such, or just across the front, like so. And carrying it and bearing in mind that has a laptop and a battery bank in there. Adding a charge is not really going to be that much heavier. But as you see, that's nice and Portable. So there we are, that was the laptop bag from GES and the laptop sleeve holder from Domiso. And the links uh, for the products will be in the bar below, as I've said. Hopefully, you've enjoyed that basic review. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe, please. It really helps me and the algorithms out. And as always, I'm wishing you the very best for now and the future. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.